Hello YouTube, welcome to everything smartphone and welcome to our newest series Smartphone Matters. In this series I will try to give you an idea about what you have to get for yourself and why. So in the very first episode of Smartphone Matters, I am going to talk about MediaTek Helio vs Qualcomm Snapdragon, which processor is the best for you. So without further ado, let's get started. The CPU used for mobile is called SOC, which stands for System on Chip. You may ask what the heck is this? Think about it. What needs to run a mobile in compared to a PC? A display, processor, modem, Bluetooth device, Wi-Fi device, camera, etc. etc. And the mobile does not have too much space for placing separate parts for these components. So there has only one chip that can handle everything. All the functions that needs to run a smartphone are included into a single chip. That chip is called System on Chip or we call it as a mobile CPU. Before starting the main comparison video, let me tell you a little bit history about these processors. Qualcomm Snapdragon is a leading company in the mobile CPU market. They have been producing CPU for several brands since November 2007. They released their first processor QSD 8520 in December 2007. Since then, they are ruling in the mobile CPU market whether it is low budget, mid budget or flagship market. By updating their CPU day by day, they keep their position top of the industry. Snapdragon 8P25 is their latest CPU which released in late 2018 and when I am creating this video they have officially announced about their newest processor called Snapdragon 865. On the other hand, MediaTek Helio processors are best known for their low budget high efficiency processors. MediaTek is a Taiwanese semiconductor company founded in May 22, 1997. They provide chips for wireless communication, SDTV, smartphones, tablets and more. Talking about smartphone CPU, they started 4 years earlier than Qualcomm company. They introduced their first processor in 2003. Currently, they are competing with Qualcomm processors in mid budget trends like Snapdragon 630 or 730. Processors like Helio Z90, P90 or Z90 are really popular and well maintained CPU. Famous mobile manufacturer Xiaomi recently used Z90 T CPU in their Xiaomi Note 8 Pro mobile. Xiaomi Note series are very popular in the mid budget market so that you can define how popular these processors are. Ok now come back to the main point. How can we define a good CPU? Well it depends on 4 major points. Performance, battery, graphics, heat management. So let's break this point with Snapdragon and MediaTek processors. MediaTek Helio processors are best known for their mid budget range performance. Talking about their performance, there is no doubt that MediaTek provides best performance according to its price range. MediaTek processors has more core than usual which provides better heavy task management ability. But if you want more speed, it will require more RAM to handle everything smoothly. And MediaTek has some issue on it. But in their latest G90 T processor, they almost overcome these problems. As I said earlier, MediaTek used best possible CPU power which requires more battery power. As a result, it provides less battery life. But day by day they have upgraded a lot. Helio P90 Z90T has better battery management system than old MediaTek processors. MediaTek Helio processors use Mali GPU for their CPU which is a third party GPU company. So often GPU architecture does not match with CPU. As a result, GPU can't provide the best possible result. And at the last, MediaTek processors always has heating issues. People are saying they have overcome this problem with their Z90 T processors but in my personal test, it was almost same. MediaTek should have to work more with heat management system. On the other hand, Qualcomm Snapdragon processors are provides various processors from low to high end. If you compare their latest high end processors with MediaTek, that would be foolish. Snapdragon processor provides best possible performance with their better RAM management system. In multitasking or heavy gaming, Snapdragon handles very good. If I talk about their battery management system, then there is no competitor in the market right now they can do better in battery management system than Snapdragon processors. Snapdragon processors are best known for their good battery efficiency. Also Snapdragon provides their own GPU called Adreno GPU so it matches very well with CPU which provides better graphics experience. And Snapdragon manages better heating issue than other processors. Now come to the final verdict. MediaTek or Snapdragon? In that case I will say both. It depends on what you are looking for and what is your price range. If you are looking for something in mid budget or low budget then MediaTek may be better for you since they provide more power than Snapdragon processors in similar price range. Currently they are competing with Snapdragon 630 to 730 processors with their P90, Z90, Z90T processors and shockingly MediaTek Helio processors are better than Snapdragon's. But 
If you are looking for flagship level performance and you have no budget issue then obviously Snapdragon should be your choice. Snapdragon's latest 855 Plus or upcoming 865 processors has no competitor in MediaTek CPU. Snapdragon high-end processors has more power than any MediaTek processors. With their latest Adreno 640 GPU, they are killing in the performance and gaming experience. And not only that, in their upcoming 865 CPU, they will come with Adreno 650 GPU. And that processor will provide best 5G experience. And that will be 25% more powerful than 855 Plus processors and 35% more battery power. So in a single word, mid or low budget area, MediaTek competing very well with Snapdragon right now. But in flagship market, MediaTek didn't reach their level yet to compete with Snapdragon. So that was it guys. I hope I was able to provide you some good info. If you enjoyed then please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notification about our future updates. Also comment down below what next video you want to see. Until the next video, I am your host Omi, signing out.